What's up guys, I'm here to share with you our new exciting integration with Canva. So whereas previously you've been able to create a design in Canva and then download that as a piece of media to then later be uploaded to smartsign to go now we've streamlined that process and let's take a quick look at how that works. So in Canva we're going to create a design. So I'm going to scroll down here and pick one of these designs. Customize this template. And of course I can continue with making edits to this template um, since I'm still in Canva here. But for this uh, example, we're just going to send this over as it is to Smart Sign to Go. So what you're going to do is click on Share at the top right. And then at the bottom, there's a More section. And then what we want to do is search for Player, P-L-A-Y-R, no E. And this is the embedded technology inside of Smart Sign to Go. And so this is, uh, for better or worse, this is how it's referenced in a, in a few different ways around the web. So let's click on player and up will come a selection of dashboards. So if you've got multiple dashboards in your account for different sites in your company or other purposes, you'll select which dashboard you want to send it to. I'm going to click on main dashboard for me here. Um, you can then choose what file type you want it sent over as. Let's say just keep it with JPEG. And now this is being sent over to us. And then we will find it in the main dashboard here if I reload this page. So looking further into this, we have to confirm that this is actually going to work because most of the designs in Canva, or many of the designs in Canva are not necessarily the same shape as a TV screen. So what's happened here is this has created a new page and uploaded the image to it for us, which is great. But uh, if the template in Canva doesn't match um, the presentation that you're doing already, like 16 by 9 or 9 by 16, um, then if we go to drag this down to the playlist, you'll get this error at the top right there. It says this playlist contains pages of different aspect ratio. These cannot be mixed. So we can't have different shapes of pages mixed into the same playlist because logically that doesn't work with your TV screen. So what we want to do is go in here to the page and just change its aspect ratio or shape to a regular TV's shape. So right now it's been set to this custom resolution. Let's set this to regular 16 by 9. And I can double click on the image now to fill it as best we can. But you see there's still a white line, a little bit of white space off to the right because this image doesn't fit perfectly with that shape. So what we do is just expand the image just a little bit if we want to, to completely fill up the page. Now we can save this and go back. And now we will be able to add that to our playlist. And there we are. So we hope that this simplifies your life a little bit. You know, it certainly opens up a much wider catalog of design choices that are available to you now, uh, at least making those easier to use than we have uh, had in the past. Thanks for your time. We hope you enjoy this.